the time has come once again my favorite time of the year we get to talk about all things hair tools we get to talk about the best and my favorite hair tools of the year and yeah i'm so excited to share with you guys my favorite blow dryers of 2023 when I think about my favorite hair tools of 2023, I think about the ones that I used the most. Don't get me wrong, there have been a lot of new blow dryers this year, like a lot of new ones that came out that I have tried that did not make this video just because I tried them, they were okay, but I always saw myself going back to another blow dryer and using another one instead. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is the most affordable one. I've mentioned this hair tool so much in all my videos, but I had to include it in this video, the Revlon Plus. I wanted to include something that is very accessible and also just like really good quality, like a great hair tool that you really can't go wrong with. I mean, this blow dryer is so affordable and it also gives you amazing results i did mention the plus though not the original because i like that the plus has a medium heat setting and it is going to be a lot more gentle on your hair i have very curly hair and i like to blow up my hair straight from pretty wet hair so i like the medium heat setting it's perfect for me every time i use this blow dryer i use it in the medium heat setting if i have to do a whole blowout with this hair tool which i have done so many times i don't mind like i really like using it i also really like that the brush is detachable so it is easy Easier to store and you can also use different attachments that are available that are compatible with this base so there's a smaller round brush that is actually from hot tools that you can use that is going to kind of turn this hair tool into the root booster the Revlon root booster so it basically is the same brush as the Revlon root booster but it's from hot tools which is like the same thing but you are able to use that brush in the medium heat setting the Revlon root booster you can only use in the high heat setting so that's why I don't really reach for it but I do really like using that smaller brush with this base and you can also use the Revlon one step blowout curls attachment with this base so they're all compatible the only thing is that the Revlon blowout curls attachment is not available to purchase separately this hair tool is very very nice it gives me very smooth results and it does really smooth out my curly hair super well and I like that this brush compared to the original Revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer this brush is a lot smaller than the original so it does get closer to the roots it gives me more bounce it gives me still a little bit of volume and it just gives me a very nice smooth blowout and if you use this in the medium heat setting use a lot of heat protection you shouldn't damage your hair i mean i've used this so much like very consistently and i don't notice that it damages my hair especially not as much as the original this is the new t3 airbrush and i have used this so much like i really really like this one this is way better than the t3 micro airbrush duo which is not bad if you have more fine hair maybe more wavy hair maybe get that one instead because that one doesn't get as hot as this one but you guys already know i need a little bit of extra heat not like something too hot that's gonna like burn my hair but a little bit of extra heat so that my curly hair can get super smooth and yeah this one is perfect i really really like this hair tool it came out this year and i have been really really liking it the price is 150 which is not too bad if you're into blowing out your hair then i think you should invest in something that you're going to use a lot and that's going to be good quality and i think this is a great option i love all the settings that it has here it has a couple of different heat settings it has a cool shot it has two airflow settings i really like the size of this brush and i love that it has like these bore and nylon bristles so i'm able to really smooth down my curly hair super well i really like that this dries my hair very quickly i know that i say 45 minutes but i mean 45 minutes is not bad for me i know a lot of you guys say that 45 minutes is a lot of time and i get it it is a lot of time for a blowout but that's what it usually takes me to blow up my hair. And I think that's not bad because I do have a lot of hair and it is pretty curly. I have very thick hair. So it takes me some time to smooth it out. This is literally exactly how I wanted the T3 Micro Airbrush Duo to be. So now let's move on to my top three regular blow dryers. So these are like your traditional blow dryers, the ones that they use at the beauty salon and everything, not like blow dryer brushes or anything like that. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's start with the OG Dyson Supersonic. I feel like if you're into giving yourself just like a nice Dominican blowout, 
then you're gonna love this one it dries my hair so quickly i love all the nozzle attachments that they have they have like a thinner one a more concentrated one which is the one that i use and then they have a wider one which is also very nice i know that dyson hair tools are pricey i mean this hair tool is like 500 dollars, so it is an investment it is very expensive i love that this has a diffuser attachment so i use it a lot but oh my god now i actually use the dyson hair app more than this one and i'll get into that in a little bit i'm gonna be honest i kind of forgot about this hair tool and i forgot to include it in this video because lately i have been using the air app more than this one but i still really love this one and if you're into just like regular blow dryers like this one then you're gonna love it moving on to another blow dryer that i really like the ghd helios so this one actually gets a little tiny bit hotter than the dyson supersonic which i really like because like i said i like a little bit more of heat on my hair so that i can smooth it out better and i love this nozzle attachment do you guys see how thin and concentrated it is like it's gonna give you very smooth results it is about 250 i believe so it's not too expensive it is still more on the expensive side but it's kind of like in between these price points that i'm mentioning in this video but yeah if you want to invest in a nice hair tool that's gonna last you years i mean i've had this for years now maybe like four years now and it works just like new like it really does work super well so if you want to invest in good quality hair tools ghd is a great brand i really love their stuff now this hair tool right here the fabulous volara you guys have seen me use it so much this is the blow dryer that you would see professionals use at dominican beauty salons for that very smooth literally almost straight blowout this blow dryer is perfect for that because it gets even hotter even hotter than the other two than the dyson and the ghd so i really like this one it gets so hot that it even has a turbo shot like this button right here you would think that's like a cool shot like you know other blow dryers no this has a turbo shot so it gets even hotter than these heat settings so yeah it gets very very hot if you want just like a quick shot of like very strong hot air for the extra shine and smoothness then you would definitely like the turbo shot i don't use it that much because i feel like it gets way too hot for me so i try to avoid it but i mean if you're into that then it's there for you to use and it works super well this is a very nice blow dryer i really like this it also cost about 250 this has this ferrari designs engine which i i find it incredible that's crazy and it is very powerful like this dries my hair so quickly and i love fabulous blow dryers like i have one that i use when i travel to spain that i bought in spain and it was only like 40 euros by the way and it gives me the smoothest blowouts this is what my hair looked like in spain after doing a blowout with that hair tool I didn't use a straightener i didn't use any other hair tools i only did a blowout with a round brush and that blow dryer and wow i wish i could link that blow dryer here somewhere i'm going to try to find it if you live in spain or in europe and you want to buy it but it is so good and it was only like 40 euros so yeah fabulous has amazing blow dryers this one is kind of like that one so if you're looking for something that's going to be very powerful that's going to give you a very nice smooth blowout it literally looks like if i straighten my hair when i use this blow dryer basically so yeah i really like it if you're wondering what hair to i use today to do my hair i actually didn't blow it out <laughs> i actually just used the wavy talk heated round brush which is this one right here straight from my natural clear hair texture so yeah this is what it looks like i prefer to blow out my hair first and then use a hair tool like that but i was surprised it actually worked super well on like my natural hair texture and yeah so far i feel like it looks pretty nice i definitely have some more volume than usual but not bad let's move on to the dyson air wrap i don't know if you guys noticed but last year in my favorites blow dryer video of 2022 this hair tool was not in it because honestly i just didn't really use the dyson air wrap to blow up my hair i really didn't because of the round brush attachment i don't think you guys understand how excited i am about this bigger round brush attachment i have been waiting for something like this for years so thank you dyson for coming out with a bigger round brush attachment this has changed the game for the dyson era i use this so much you guys don't understand how much i use the dyson era now and i know that this is 600 dollars. it's crazy but the kit that i got actually has the bigger round brush attachment the diffuser attachment which i use today actually so just like kind of dry my curly hair before using the wavy talk heated round brush but yeah i really like that kit i actually had to get the whole kit to be able to get this attachment which was 600 
dollars like so expensive and i do believe that dyson did make these available the big round brush attachment to be able to purchase separately recently and then it sold out like right away so i don't think it's available right now to purchase separately but if this attachment is available to purchase separately i will be linking it down below in my description box if not i'm gonna also be linking just the whole kit if you just want to buy the whole thing if you don't have the dyson air app and if you have been wanting to buy it or whatever i'm going to be linking the whole kit if you guys want to check it out i don't know if you noticed though that these two are different colors and it's because this is my old base because my new base came defective i literally used it like three times and it came defected it wouldn't turn on i cleaned the filter i washed it i did everything and it just wouldn't turn on so i ended up returning it and now i'm just waiting to get the new one back but yeah i just i'm i'm still using it i'm using it with my old face but that is kind of like a bummer because 600 dollars for you to get a defective base like what that's crazy but anyways other than that this attachment is amazing and i use it a lot for blowouts like i've used it so much ever since i got it i love that all the attachments are amazing as well you do get the curling barrel attachments as well like i said the diffuser attachment and the flyaway attachment you get the paddle brush attachment you get so many attachments so yeah i really do like the dyson air app and i feel like it leaves my hair so nice and like shiny this gets super close to my roots and it just smooths out my roots super well i have just been loving this a lot of you guys have been asking me about the dyson air straight i still have it it's here i just prefer to use a round brush i don't love that very just like straight look so yeah it's a nice hair tool the dyson air straight but I don't use it that much, so that's why I didn't want to include it in this video. But anyways, let's move on to the last hair tool, the Shark Flex Style. So I feel like this is the best hair tool that Shark has, hands down. This is half the price of the Dyson Airwrap, and it basically does like the same thing. It even gets a little bit hotter than the Dyson Airwrap, which I really, really like. So it gives me super smooth results. And you get the curling barrels, you get the round brushes, you're able to take this off and put this and turn it into kind of like a regular looking blow dryer which is crazy it's amazing you can use a nozzle attachment i love using the nozzle attachment to smooth down my baby hairs my roots so yeah this is an amazing amazing hair tool i've noticed that i kind of prefer shorter bristles like this because it just gets so much closer to my roots and it smooths out my curly hair way better the dyson air wrap original round brush was just too small but this is nice and big so i'm able to dry my hair a lot quicker i'm able to grab bigger sections and it still gets pretty close to the roots so i really really like this round brush attachment but this one is nice you get a quick blowout but my roots definitely sometimes still need a little bit more of like smoothing out but and I love that you have so many attachments to choose from for the shark flex style you also get a diffuser attachment a nozzle attachment different brushes i mean it's just amazing you also got the curling barrels which is nice different sizes as well and i love the price i've used the shark flex style also a lot very consistently and i don't notice damage on my hair so yeah it's an amazing hair tool and i feel like anybody would love it i mean it's great for like all hair types that is it for this video let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next you want to see favorite flat irons of 2023 favorite curling irons of 2023 or anything else that you would like to see this holiday season let me know in the comments down below but anyways i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much